Hello everybody, it is Jamer Gaminator again, and today I'm going to review the Dotec RGB version typewriter mechanical keyboard. This keyboard is currently $115. It says that it's on sale and that the original price is $139.99, but I have a feeling that it's always going to be $115, just like their last keyboard was always like $99. If you do end up wanting to purchase this keyboard, I will put the link in the description below to the store page. As you can tell by what they call this keyboard, it has RGB lighting. So you will not be restricted to the same colors as you were with the last keyboard. And I have to say that the colors that they did choose this time are really pretty. I wanted to show you the unboxing of this keyboard so that you could see how well packaged this was. Last time the keyboard came in just a plain old cardboard box, but now it actually has a box with a brand on it. There were a couple of items included with this keyboard, such as extra switches or some cleaning supplies. Now one thing that was not included with this keyboard that was included in the last were non-typewriter style keycaps. There are multiple versions of this keyboard. You do not have to get it all black like how I have it. You can get it with gold and black and then black and white. If you've watched my previous reviews on the last keyboard, you'll notice that the keycaps are different than with the last one. The last keyboard had a more typewriter aesthetic to the keys, such as the font, um, but now they're more modern looking. I'm not sure if everybody who buys this keyboard will have the more modern looking keys though. On the website, they show some pictures with the modern keys and without the modern keys, the normal typewriter looking keys. But you don't get a choice of what kind of keycaps you do get. As you can see, the brand on the keyboard is also different. Last time, it was Cool Killer. This time, it's like, Ayo Yeah, um, which both are not Dotec. So that whole thing is just shady and it makes me uncomfortable and I don't think that you can guarantee what exact keycaps you will get because it seems to be through different brands. Anyway, the key switches should be the same regardless. The switches are blue mechanical key switches and here you can hear what they sound like when I type. The keyboard layout is the same as last time. It is flat, the keys are flat, but you do have a little stand that you could use to create some elevation. When you turn on your keyboard for the first time after plugging it in, this is what the keyboard does. They do include instructions with the keyboard, but some of the instructions actually do not work. If you find yourself having an issue, just press function and escape and it will reset you to the reset position. One thing that I really love is that the reset position glows pink. I don't know if they saw my last video and how I kept complaining that I wanted a pink typewriter keyboard, but I mean the reset position's pink, so. <laughs> Although it is hard to see, just like the last keyboard, you can change the level of light emitted by pressing function and the up and down arrows. Also like the last video, you could change the speed that the light shows by pressing function and the left and right arrows. Whenever you have reached the max of one of these settings, you will know because the three lights at the top will start flashing, meaning that you cannot go anymore. To change the color that the keyboard lights up in, press function and delete. Now I will go through all of the different colors that you can make your keyboard. You can turn off the keyboard lights by pressing function and print screen. 
You can change the pattern of lights by pressing function and insert. Although you're changing the pattern, you cannot, to my knowledge, change the color while it's in the pattern mode. But the patterns are actually pretty, even though you can't change the colors to a specific color that you want the pattern to go in. I like it. Now I will go through all of the different patterns that you can have. Just like with the last keyboard, there are also pre-light sets. You can get these by pressing function in either one, two, three, four, or five. And as you can see, each of these, I don't care for them, but maybe you do. You can also create your own customizable one by pressing function in home and then tapping on the keys that you want lit. If you want to change the color of a key, then just press the key multiple times. Then when you're done, press function and home again, and there you go. From what I've learned is that you cannot save this for future times. So you're just gonna have to do it every time. Now I could be wrong, but I did not see anything else about it saving. So yeah, that is the Dotec RGB version typewriter mechanical keyboard. And although it has its problems, I am satisfied with this, especially compared to the last one where it just had those colors that irked me so much. Now we have really pretty colors. And although you can't customize them completely, they are still beautiful. Now, like I said, if you ever run into some type of issue, press function and escape. That will reset you and you should be able to do what you want from there. Now one thing that does greatly disappoint me is the font choice on the typewriter caps. I love the vintage typewriter look and they didn't put it on this new one. Now they might put it on some other ones because like I said, it seems kind of shady and they seem to come from different brands that are like the same brand. But the one that I got did not have the typewriter fonts. Lucky for me though, I bought the previous keyboard, so I already have those typewriter keycaps. And I replaced them on here. Since they were practically the same caps, but without the same fonts, it worked out perfectly. And now I have the keyboard that is close to my dreams. I just wish that it could still be as customizable as Razer's uh, keyboard, but I mean, this is pretty good too, and I am happy that I purchased this one. Now, if it really isn't some amazing coincidence, and Dotec did take my advice on having pink lit up keys, then thanks Dotec, I love it, and I especially love how it's the actual reset color. It makes me feel special, whether or not you took my advice or not. I do believe that they call the pink color white, but it's definitely not white. And I don't have a problem with that, so hopefully you guys don't either. <laughs> well, you guys, thank you so much for watching, and please comment below any questions you have. Bye!